I might just carburetor parts. I have a Holley 1920 one barrel. I'm going to show you how the uh, idle circuit works. Uh, the more you know about the idle circuit, yeah, uh, the easier it'll be to diagnose any problems you may be having with idle or just off idle. Uh, first of all, the fuel for the idle goes through the main jet, this one right here, and eventually goes into one of these small holes right here and inside the inside here is the idle passageway idle well it's called and right down in there you may or may not be able to see it there's a little brass colored uh, hole and uh, see if I can get a little closer and see it might help anyway it's about halfway down the carburetor throat very small passageway you need to be sure that's clean and clear blow through it make sure you can get air through it that's where uh, the air comes in to mix with the fuel that's where you get air fuel mixture and it comes down to here and that's your idle screw idle excuse me idle mixture screw and your discharge is right here idle discharge right here okay now this is idle you see the discharge is below the uh, valve now as you uh, start to speed up a little bit you'll give it some throttle and there's a little gap between idle and uh, where the accelerator pump takes over to, to pump in some extra fuel and the way they get around that is to put a little uh, transfer line right here see the little slot that's a transfer slot and you see it gets uncovered as you throttle up and that allows more air fuel mixture in, uh, in added to the uh, original air fuel mixture and so if you have a little bit of a hesitation you think it's in between the idle and the accelerator pumps it's going to be kind of hard to tell that uh, check and make sure that that slot is plenty open blow air through it and make sure make sure the idle uh, vent on through the top is uh, open okay now the idle mixer screw on the bench here you you put it in turn in all the way until it seats gently uh, if you push it, if you do it too hard you're going to score the idle screw and then turn it out a turn and a half and then do your regular adjustment after it's on the car engine warmed up at idle speed Okay, so that's how the uh, idle works. So if you have a, a stoppage or something, you kind of know where to go to look. Thank you for watching.